Hey guys, as always, this is a time of prayer. Welcome to this prayer focus. Uh, this is a time where you can just set yourself apart, as always, and isolate yourself. Where you can just have a moment of time with the Lord to press into Him, speak to Him, receive from Him, talk to Him, and, and just encounter Him. I'm just a brother in Christ who's connected to you by faith and by the Spirit of God that runs through all of us. So, as always in this time, God wants to hear your voice and He loves to hear your voice. So please in this time, focus on the Lord and, and just let Him have everything. Give Him all that you have. Everything that's on your heart, put it before His throne knowing He's listening, knowing He's paying attention to you, knowing He's seeing it all. So let's pray. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you so much, Lord. Glory to God. God bless your mighty name for all you're doing, Lord. I thank you for the wonders you're doing. I thank you for your manifestation and your help, Lord. I pray for your will to be done so powerfully, Lord. I ask that you move powerfully in everyone's mind and heart, Lord. I pray for a great rush of your spirit, Lord, a great rushing water of your spirit to flow through each and every person, Lord. I pray for just a manifestation of God so powerfully, so great, so intense that overtakes every situation they're going through. Lord, I pray that you give them wisdom and counsel, Lord. I pray that you help them see what they need to see, Lord. Father, I pray for manifestations of revelation, Lord. I pray that you give them understanding and truth. Lord, have us in peace in these times. Have us in comfort, Lord. Keep us close to you, Father God, in these times that are coming ahead, Lord. Let us not be pulled left or right from the things we hear, from the things we see, from the things we know coming to pass, God. Oh, Father God, have us protected in you, God. Have us sheltered in you, Lord. Have us comfort in you. Confine us and cover us in your walls. Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, Psalm 91, over every person listening, in every person's position, and every person's placement they have in the world right now. I pray for Psalms 91 to be your portion to stand on. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray in Jesus' mighty name that God move powerfully over you and take care of the issue. Take care of the problem. Take care of the oppression. This dark cloud I'm seeing in the spirit, I see a dark cloud. I pray against this dark cloud that is coming against you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name that fire overcome the evil that is coming against you right now in Jesus' name. I pray that this fire is destroying every form of darkness and evil and this dark cloud of oppression. This is in a cloud of oppression I am witnessing in the spirit right now, and I bind this spirit. I bind this cloud. I bind this satanic evil that is coming against your way. I rebuke it out of your life, out of your mind, and out of your heart in Jesus' name. This oppression will not be your portion. This oppression will not be what sits with you. This oppression will not stay in your space anymore in Jesus' name. There will be a deliverance taking place right now against this oppression. There will be a lifting taking place right now against this oppression. There will be a removal of this oppression in your mind and in your heart. You won't be weighed with this anymore. You won't be weighed with this anymore. There will be a total deliverance for you where you will feel shifted. You will feel a great release from you right now in Jesus' name. For God is your portion. God's yoke is your portion. His yoke and his light and his burden is easy and light. Therefore, the, the enemies of the yoke must be broken off of you. I declare in Jesus' name that there will be a breaking in half of every yoke of the enemy right now off of you right now. I declare in Jesus' name that God is overcoming the enemy and all his devices and all the things that you heard. I'm hearing that someone is listening in the spirit to evil and it's only because it sounds right. It's only because it sounds logical. And I break that in the name of Jesus. I destroy that manipulation right now in Jesus' name. This manipulation will not be your portion. I declare over you that great peace is loosened upon you, that truth is released to you, and that in Jesus' name, all forms of manipulation of satanic thoughts. I'm hearing the word thoughts in the spirit. I declare in Jesus' name, all the manipulation in your thoughts happening is canceled now in Jesus' name. I declare by the power and the name of Jesus that God overcomes every satanic thought, every satanic filth, every manipulation that is seeming, that it sounds logical, 
there's a manipulation of something satanic in your thoughts that sounds reasonable. It sounds like it makes sense. Well, in Jesus' name, it does not make sense. In Jesus' name, it is countered. In Jesus' name, it is oppressed by God's deliverance in Jesus' name. There will be no portion of you in the name of Jesus, Satan. You will loosen your hole. You will shut up and your tongue will be cut out of you now. In Jesus' name, to speak those lies into the minds of God's people. He will not be manipulated. They will not be contorted into your image, into your manifestation. There will be a deliverance now. There will be a change now happening in so many people who have been listening to this. And let your mind be free by God's hand. Let God take care and take captive of what it is that you may think is being contorted in your own mind. Do not listen to the enemy. I'm seeing demons speaking to the ears of people. That is not your portion. You are a soldier of God who has righteous, righteous standing by God's grace. There is no room for deception and there is no room to receive it. There is no room for manipulation. By the power in the name of Jesus, great deliverance of all forms of satanic thoughts, words of the enemy. I pray in Jesus' name, a canceling, a great shifting, a great overtaking. I pray and ask the glory of God to be released, the presence of the Lord to be released upon you, I ask, for his presence to overtake every evil thing. For once you're in the presence of God, you will never come out the same. In Jesus' mighty name. I proclaim it over everybody listening that there is a massive deliverance of deception off of people's minds and their thoughts. There will be a clearing that will happen now in Jesus' name, a great clearing. God will clear you out and manifest a great change for you. There, you came from a wilderness, hallelujah, I'm getting revelation now. There is a wilderness of deception. There is a wilderness of thoughts, thoughts that weren't yours, but they came in all directions and shaped and caused and shifted and took you this way and took you that way. By the power in the name of Jesus, God is delivering you now. There will be no more of a shift. There will be no taking you left and right. There will only be in Jesus name, a continue forward movement, a simple simplistic movement, a peaceful walk, a, a simple and sound thought process will happen to you now because of Christ Jesus and his spirit within you. You are not to receive the left and right paradigm of thought. You are not to receive this chaotic storm of thoughts. You are not to receive all these different voices that may sound like you, but are not you in Jesus name. You are to receive what God has for you. You are to receive your thoughts. You are to receive a sound mind full of strength and power and peace in Jesus name for you are filled with the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God is with you is within you and is breathing and doing his own will in you now in Jesus name I declare by the power of God God will liberate you and take care of you he will remove the enemy in all his ways he will not be successful for the enemy is defeated he is defeated and he is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus I pray I declare over everybody listening that this is your portion. This is your freedom. This is what you are meant to have as a child of God. A sound mind. A peaceful mind. A mind of your own that is not owned by no one else but Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And as always, if you are led to pray, stay in the presence of God. There is a reason for that. There is a reason for that. I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.